Okay, I'm going to show you how to search for books on Heritage Quest. Found it quite useful. Now, these first two I found not very useful because if you enter a person's name, place name, it's going to work as or. Nothing worse than searching a book and finding out it doesn't have who you're looking for. So I like this publication. And here you can look up the book by letter, or if you know the title of the book, you can type it in here. I just want to show you something. I know this is in the title, but it's not the beginning. And what it did was just take me to the closest spelling, and then on. I do know the book started with with that. And here's the book I was looking for. As you can see, those are the two words I used. Uh, useful, but actually this uh, advanced publication search, I love. <laughs> okay, again, title doesn't have to be the beginning. Here's the book. Now a lot of times what I'll do is I'll put surname up here, location down here. or And then I'll reverse it and have surname down here and location up here. So, let's go look at It was in Lancaster County. Yeah, Pennsylvania. And pretty sure it was in histories. You can also click more than one. I don't recommend clicking too many because you'll get nothing. But so I could do two or three. And I know the name was Roar. In fact, I'm going to try to narrow it down a little more than that. Okay. And all it is is a matter of choosing your book. Yeah, I have a the way you maneuver is generally the first page you come into isn't the page it appears on. So you want to click the hit arrow. And that'll be the first page that name appears on. And you click it again and you'll notice you got forward and backwards now. Now if you wanted to print the book and let's resize that so we can get it into the window. Now this is a printer friendly size. 600 by 640 width. That's a printer friendly width. So we don't need that. Now downloads, I'll briefly go into that. They do limit you to 50 pages on a download. Here you can enter pages like 1 to 49. And as you can see here, 7 to 632, there's no way they'll let you download that. That's where you have to use the page range. But other than that, you can actually click on these little sections and click download. I won't go into that. Generally, unless the book's under 50 pages, they won't even let... You can click it, but it'll say it's too big. And that's briefly how you go into downloading. 
Let's see if I can't reverse that search for you. Okay. Now let's just click clear. I have no idea. I can enter surname and click jump. Okay, probably not a Hershey family history. This is probably just the Hershey, Pennsylvania church history. Now technically, get a good hit, you can just look at everything you get. Oh, so we actually got two. So, that's one way to do it singly. And well, I don't know how to spell the whole word, so maybe I just want to hit the first three letters. Okay, maybe it was L E B. Okay, let's try searching by you can also type in states and here it's gonna give you all the counties within the states I could click that and search the whole state Okay, one county I was looking for wasn't there, but this is a quick, easy way to find a county. Yeah. Oops, misspelled a word. But you kind of get the idea. Say there's a author you really like. You can actually just search by his name. Found this very useful, and I hope you enjoy.